Hey guys and welcome to this video. So in this video what I'm going to talk about is how in MATLAB you could go about uh, doing plotting of graphs. So uh, we'll be taking into consideration two cases. Uh, one is the 2D plots and in the other case I'll be plotting a helix curve which is going to be a 3D plot. So in this video uh, only the viewers are advised that uh, some of the basics regarding MATLAB are known like how do we go about writing vectors etc. So uh, let's get started. First of all, I'm be defining a vector x which is between 0 and 2 pi and uh, two other vectors y1 which is sine of x and the other vector will be y2 which is cosine of x. So if you want to plot between x and y1, so just write in plot x comma y1 which is going to generate a 2D plot like this. Uh, if you want to increase the line width of uh, this curve, then you could type in the command x comma y1 comma dash line width and uh, this command would actually uh, thicken out this line similarly uh, if you uh, want to enable a grid then you could uh, type in this option which will make a grid around this Uh, another thing that I would like to add is that if uh, the axis need to be mentioned then you could uh, use in the command x label y label. Uh, this font size 12 will actually make the, I would enlarge the uh, standard default font size to 12 and therefore uh, the thing that is appearing on the x axis will be of enlarged font size. Similarly for the uh, y axis you could type in y label and y axis. And for the title, there is a command known as title, which will uh, plot these as shown. So uh, now I'm going to do uh, two curve, two plot of two curves within the same graph. So, uh, so for in this, uh, you will we'll be needing to use a hold on command, which I'll be talking about later. So say I'll plot plot x comma y one line width three, and uh, I'll put in the hold on command which will actually just make this uh, graph uh, stationary and uh, what it does is that uh, whatever the commands that you'll be writing afterwards will only be acted on this thing. So say if I uh, type in plot x comma y2 and uh, say I want a red color for this. So these are actually some standard codes that are given in the help menu. So for black it's like you could type in k instead of r so if you just type in this command so what it does is that the cosine of function is plotted in the same graph as the sine of function and uh, therefore the hold on command actually helps you in doing that so now i'll be switching on the grid from this and uh, now if you want to add a legend then uh, you could go about writing this command but an important thing that you must remember is that in whatever order you are actually plotting the stuff you have to write it in the same manner as here so say if you had plotted the sign of function earlier then I I wrote y1 first similarly you could go about plotting the axis uh, as I had shown earlier now uh, we'll be switching over to 3d plots so say I want to plot a helix and for that I'll be defining a vector t vector t which is given uh, which is between 0 and 10 pi and uh, I'll define st which is the sine of this function and ct which is the cos of this function so let's do a 3d plot of this plot 3 st ct t uh, these are the x axis y z and uh, r is stands for the red color and line width 3 will be the line thickness of that and what we observe is that uh, we do get a uh, 3d plot of this which is a helix so so if i want to plot the grid in this uh, so what you could go about is that uh, you could type in the grid on option uh, which will actually help you in generating a grid in this uh, 3d 3d graph and similar to the 2d plots you could write type in the uh, x label command to enable the x axis similarly y label for the y axis and z, z label for the z axis. And uh, the title of this can be given by the same command. 
as I, as I had mentioned for the uh, 2D case. So from this, you, what we observe is that uh, we uh, get the entire graph to be labeled and if you want to save this you could just go into file save as option and uh, there are several formats where we, you can save it in a jpg or a bitmap file so it's depending on you in which format do you want to save so that's it thanks for watching feel free to leave comments below and subscribe to this channel if you like i'll be bringing up a lot more great videos ahead thanks